And that's when, when it's, it's time to. It's time. It's go time. Oh, uh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of A Week in Review. This is the live show where we talk about awesome stuff that's coming to the warehouse. And we also give away some prizes for you, the lovely audience doing some participation. All you need to do is drop a comment in the feed. Luke over in the camera over there. Luke, give a wave, a sleigh wave. All you have to do is leave a comment in the feed down below and he'll put your names onto the prize wheel. At the end of the show, we'll spin the prize wheel and whatever name lands on the prize wheel wins a Prize. Speaking of names, this is Jess, this is Hi. Bianca, I'm Andy, and this is a Week in Review here at Pop Whoa. Culture. Bianca, what are the prizes this week? Well, one of them is this super cool glow-in-the-dark uh, Jurassic Park backpack celebrating 30 years since Jurassic Park came out, which is pretty cool. And I'm trying and, to get it out. And this boy. People are getting triggered. Don't you want some of that? Oh, it's more than me. It's, the I mean, it's a talking pop, bro. Cool. Uh, Darren, look at me fold this back in the box. <laughs> uh, guys, if you want to go in the running to win, just leave a comment on the feed. As Jess said, Luke's looking at him, picking some names at random, and... Um, we're slaying the Bruce Down house here at Pop Culture. <laughs> uh, we've got a little past the camera game that we're going to do today as well, Ooh. so get ready for some excitement. Um, and again, prizes, Jurassic Park, uh, bag, uh, and uh, lights and sounds of Optimus Prime, I and uh, leave a comment to go in the running, and uh, we're going to kick it off by uh, looking at some awesome new book arrivals. Look what I was reading. What were you reading, Jess? Uh, Quizpedia Movies, the ultimate book of trivia. Now, we just did like a fun little round, and I pretty much got about 95%. Here, I'm about to hit you with hit another rate. one. All right. Um, Drew Barrymore's d directorial debut was about which sport? Um, it was about uh, roller derby. Yes. Uh, uh, which movies these famous quotes come from? Uh, that's so fetch. What's that come from, Andy? Uh, I, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, is it, is, it, is, it, is it Mean Girls? Yes, it is. All right. Good job. Um, and last... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, all right. One more. Last one. Alfred Hitchcock was known, known as the master of what? Um, suspense. Slay. So the boots. I don't know if they're right. I'm not skipping <laughs> to the back to check. I don't trust any on this one. Bianca, what have you got? This is it, true believers. It's Marvel and stamps. Oh wow! It's very exciting. Yes. It's a really cool book, though. You like, said exciting. I think it's exciting, especially if you're into stamps. I mean, I'm not into stamps, but some people might be. Into you're stamps. into Marvel. And Marvel. Yeah, Are they stickers? I'm definitely into Marvel. So this is really cool. Stamps, just. But stamps. they're stickers. I know you're young, but you know what stamps are, right? Stickers. <laughs> So this shows all the kind of stamps that they've done over the years and all the references and what's gone into the making of the stamp. I like it. It's like very, very Oh, cool. not like stamps, but the stamps that they put on the corner of Marvel Comics. Like all of yeah. those issues. That's more, that's, that's, that's better. Yes. I like that. That's he good. Gets it. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Stickers? They're like mail stamps. And I was Special. like, <laughs> wow. War fest. What have you got, Jess? I've got Frank Miller's Sin City, The Hard Goodbye. Yeah, that's a good one. It's Sin good... City. I can't look at it because it's in shrink wrap. Have you seen the film? No. All right. Well, Mickey Rourke plays that character, and this who's is... Mickey Rourke? Oh, get out. <laughs> this is this is like the core story of um, of uh, the Sin City film. And then over here we have the Stranger Things Omnibus Volume One. So it tells you all the things about Stranger Buses. Things and from Dark Horse Comics. And ooh, ooh, it's a graphic novel. Not too graphic, I hope. Whoa! Bianca, what do you got? I got more from Dark Horse. Not too I graphic, have. I hope. Uh, <laughs> Yuck. We have Incredible Science Fiction and The Haunt of Fear, so both from the EC Arch Archives, oh, the, if I can speak. I now love there's this. some I love really this. Yeah. cool art in here. Yeah. Very, very graphic novel. Very, oh, very cool. Oh, that is the nostalgic horror hit I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. What do you got, Jess? He Man. He-Man. He-Man. You hey want some He-Man? It's the He-Man and the Master of the Universe. Yes. Oh. The art of He-Man. And we also have the art of Master of the Universe Revelation, a Netflix animated series. So if you're a big fan of He-Man, we also got another one over there of He-Man and She-Ra. Yeah. She Slay, She-Ra. A complete guide to the classic animated adventures. Wonderful. Ooh. So if you got some of you're a fan of He-Man, or maybe you got someone in your family who's a big fan of He-Man, you get these He-Man and She-Ra books. Hey man. <laughs> hey man. Hey man. Hey man. Yeah. Bianca, uh, yeah. lounge fly? 
Yeah, let's stack with some lounge fire. What do you think, Bianca? Yeah, yeah, we got stacks of lounge fire. Stacks on stacks. We have a mixture of April catalog items and other like long awaited catalog items that just come in and exclusive. So there's lots of stuff. So I'm going to speed run it again let's because it. we have a lot, lot to get through. Uh, first off, this one's just dropped. Uh, we have a No Way Home inspired mini backpack. And it's pretty cool. Portal on the front, all the three Spideys in there, just, you know, swing around and all the villains after them. And it's, of course, stylized after Tom Holland's suit. Oh. Pretty cool. I like the scene where all three Spider-Mans burst out of his abdomen. <laughs> Yum! Very accurate. Very accurate. <laughs> like that urban legend with the girl with the pimple. Except they're Spider-Men, not baby spiders. Mm. What? Yeah, 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 we don't want that. <laughs> but... You might want this. This is pretty cool. This is a satchel crossbody and it's stylized just like Ariel's uh, little collecting bag that she uses in The Little Mermaid. And Flounder's there too. Awesome. And there's a dingle hopper. Uh, pardon? It's a dingle hopper. Dingle hopper. Oh yeah. In which she brushes her hair with because yeah. the seagull told her to. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one is really, really cool and like a really good kind of cosplay addition um to any kind of outfit we also have this really cool <laughs> rugrats backpack nice and colorful characters everywhere it's bright and it's got reptile as a zipper charm which is pretty cool nice yeah. uh next up we have jess's work bag hey. yeah. jess's work bag i'll let you stand all over this it's one. a good bag um, all right put it on Ooh, ooh. Have you got oh. stuff? Is this your actual bag? No, my actual uh. bag's outside. But um, no, this is a great bag. Honestly, it holds so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Holds purse, wallet, headphones, lunch for the day, drink bottle, coffee cup. It holds everything. It's just a big black hole of things that you can put in there. And it's great. And I put little charms on mine. It also has a uh, crossbody strap that you can put around so you can also wear it on your shoulder rather than hold it. And it holds its structure really well. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to become loosey and like, goosey. you know, loosey and goosey. And you know what I mean? When bags get a bit, you know, rougher, they just kind of fall. But this, no, is really good quality. It has a really great lattice skull on it. Look at him. Look at him. And cool. my favorite thing is the like original like lounge fly little badge thing there. Very, I believe it's a remake of a previous bag that it they is, had. It is a rerun and they don't do bags really big like this yeah. often. So if you're into it, get it. Get it. Definitely yeah. get big. it. And it has, it. it has black chrome accents. Lovely. Great. Oh, I love this bag. bag. I'm very happy with that Absolutely my purchase. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let's go completely the other way and go real, real colorful. We've got this Beatles Magical Mystery Tour collection Magical here. Beatles Mystery Tour really is cool. hoping to take so you away. We've got a wallet, we've got a, wallet. We've got a lenticular oh. backpack. Oh, God damn. Uh -oh. This is pretty cool. Goes there he is. To all the characters. Coo -coo -coo -choo, there they are. Yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. But arguably the best part of this collection is this magical mystery tour bus with lenticular view in the front as Coo -coo -coo -choo, well. There they are. <laughs> and I'm loving the handle as well. It's got like a rainbow on top and they've even put their enamel plaque as the license. Oh, I like that. Area, which is really cool and just like super immersive. Mm. I dig it. It's very, very good. All right. Next up we have the jungle book as a book. Yay. Wow. With a matching wallet. So this is um, a series lounge that I've been doing across Disney films and it features artwork on the inside and zipper pocket pages that you can open up and put your things in, mm. which is pretty cool. So it's very unique design. You can like wear it open, you can wear it as a crossbody. You can even wear it open like that or like that, whichever way you want. Very versatile. Very, very cool. And it's a book. Yeah, and it's a book. So if you're into books and Disney, that's just like perfect for you. We also have a bunch of crossbodies that have come in, including this Django Fett. Django Fett. Yeah. Now that's a, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Obviously just stylized after his outfit, uniform, whatever you want to say. And uh, we've got a cool little clasp here. I like that. Head. Clasp. Little clasp. Little enamel emblem. Yeah, it is very, very cool. And I know Jess was pretty excited about this yeah. one. <laughs> Mama, I love Queen Amadala. You can fan over this one too. Mama, I don't know what else to say, but I just really like it because I love 
the prequels. Mm-hmm. And it's Annie Portman in the storm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but no, this is really cool. It's based off her outfit in episode one when she's like still Queen Amidala in Phantom, Phantom Menace. That one, episode one. The one that Keira Knightley puts on? Yeah. I don't know. Great bag. Gold hardware. Really cool thing of her headdress mm-hmm. that she wears. And then it opens up. And yeah, plenty of room. And oh, 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 she's ooh, she's ooh, she's, ooh, she's ooh, on the inside ooh, in her different ooh, outfits. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh damn, god damn! I wasn't ready for that. Great ooh, bag. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! And then you've also got Padme. Is it Padme? No, it's Leia. Yes, Mama. it is Leia. <laughs> Pretty excited about this one. We've been waiting for this one to come in for a long time. Like you don't know the resistance, Emma. What do you see? <laughs> so this is stylized after um, Leia's iconic robes. Obviously, even has her belt as the strap, which I think is a really nice touch there. Yeah, very, very cool. This is a good bag. Very good. I like it. Queen Amidala is just better. Well, I like just saying. Cool. Just yes. saying. <laughs> All right, celebrating 30 years since Jurassic Park came out, Lunch I've done a couple of collections, including this very, very bright Life Finds a Way collection. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a uh, baguette style crossbody bag. Not sure why, it, why it's called baguette, but anyway. And Forget origin. about it. It's, 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 based off a, it's based off a Fendi bag in the 2000s. There's a very popular bag form called the baguette that was popularised on ah. Sex and the City. So then it got coined as the bagu or the baguette bag because of its shape. See, I thought it might have had This is Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Life finds a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Life like finds baguettes. A way. <laughs> Um, now, next up, we have one of the prizes for today. So this is the Dino Moon Glow in the Dark Glows backpack. Glows in the Dark? Glows in the Dark. Oh, 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 oh. Where's the torch? Where's the torch? Where's the torch? Where's the torch? Where is the torch? Where's 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 the torch? I trust, cool. you, Bianca. Dinosaurs, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I trust you, Bianca. Dinosaurs, yeah, I trust you. Yeah, very cool. Very Jurassic cool. Park. Win, 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 win. Uh, we also have a Hercules collection oh, Hercules, based on Hercules. Go on a Mount Olympus. And it even has a little charm here. Hercules flying on Pegasus, which is a cute little touch. Yeah. Hercules. That's good if you're into Hercules. Good <laughs> if you're into Hercules. It's pretty cool. Um, now this next one, this is a really, really cool um, kind Lines. of reimagining of uh, the Mystery Ink Gang as like this real psychedelic kind of inspired it's collection. Not reimagining. <laughs> so it, it was all along. Right? Right. <laughs> In Shaggy's world. <laughs> After a few scurries. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, this is very, very cool. Lots going on. Um, we've got a front pocket kind of like hidden in the design as well, which is really cool. And yeah, they're all running away from spooky monsters as they often do. Yes, they do. Whoa, Scoob! <laughs> Next up, we've got this um, Cedric Diggory um, Quidditch uniform. It's my oh, Diggory son, Dog. <laughs> my beautiful oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> God, that scene makes me cry every time. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, we've got embroidery, we've got applique, we've got the Hufflepuff um, crest there. And it is pretty cool. So if you're really into Cedric Diggory, this mm-hmm. is for you. However, if you're more into the Spider-Verse like me, you're going to dig this bag. It's arrived just on time for the new movie coming out in June, which is essentially just over a month away. Very exciting. Ooh, you know what I really like about this? What's that? that? The emblem is dedicated to just itself and not the lounge while you go underneath. Yeah, it is good. And it like makes it kind of pop yeah. more too, I think. It is really cool. And we've got um, a cool little um, charm there. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually Spider Gwen's logo, so oh. I was I was very touched that they did that. That's a big Spider Gwen fan. But yeah, gear up for the movie with that one. Now we also have this Wally and Eve date night collection that's finally arrived. This is pretty cool if you want to remember yeah. a questionable date. <laughs> but there's also in this collection a um, Eve crossbody. Oh, sorry, cross buddies, what they're calling them, passport yeah. bag. Um, so if you're not into having this full-on date night scene, you can just get Eve in a cross buddy. But yeah, pretty cool. It's all sunset It's got embroidery. It's, it's very, very nice. Very, very pretty. Nice. nice setting. I like it. It's just trash, though. A bunch of trash. <laughs> well, true. But those accessories are not trash. 
And these definitely aren't trash either. We've got a couple of Lord of the Rings backpacks. So we have uh, Rogan and the White Tree of Gondor. Now these are pretty cool because they're just kind of like little nods to Middle Earth without being overly like packing everything about the Lord of the Rings into one thing, yeah. which is really, really cool. And better act quick, get them before they're gone, door. Oh, oh, oh. Let's yeah. move on from that. <laughs> Next up, we've got this Captain America metallic collection. Wow, that's shiny. Yeah, it is, it is. They are shiny, shiny boys. Very, very shiny. So this is pretty cool. This is a new line that Lounge are gonna be doing, which is very exciting. Um, so of course, starting off with Captain America, just, just being shiny and shimmery. There's like glitter and stuff in here. It is pretty, pretty cool. Born to shimmer, born to shine. We also have a Loki um, set that's up for pre-order at the moment too. Um, next up we have the Lion King, but it's tattoos. Yay. Tatuna Makata. <laughs> no, I, I messed it up. Tatuna Makata. <laughs> <laughs> It is pretty cool though. I do like it. Hey, speaking the, uh, of tattoos, let's just take a break. Uh, Pop Culture this weekend is at um, Rites of Passage Tattoo Festival um, in Melbourne uh, at the Old Exhibition Centre in Carlton. Yeah, that's yes. the one. Uh, across from the museum. Um, so we're there all weekend, and um, if you're interested in tattoo culture or mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. checking out some pop culture, uh, then be sure to come on down uh, because we're there all weekend, uh, 10 to 10. Today, 10 to 10 tomorrow, 10 to 5 on Sunday. Um, and um, Get tatted and get cultured. Get Whoa. tatted and yeah. Whoa. get cultured. And um, check out my wife's stand there as well. She's, she's tattooing there this weekend. So. Give her a shout out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Claire Walker Tattoos, part of a vault dink. She's upstairs, W3. There you go. Yeah. Go Claire. <laughs> Great. Is she going to be tattooing the Lion King? Uh, no, she got flashes, but she got good flashes. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, so yeah, Loungefly tattoo, very, very cool. And the last of Loungefly we've got is this Jon Snow inspired backpack. Snow. Very, very late. Um, it, I think it knows stuff, unlike Jon Snow. I feel like anybody knows more than Jon Snow. He knows nothing! Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We've got faux fur just kind of... Um, uh, framing it and on the back as well, and it's just inspired after his. It's warm, it's cozy. I like it. The yeah, Lord it's of good. Winterfell. It's a good winter bag, and it even features his sword too, mm. which is pretty cool. And that's all we've got from Lounge Fly. From Lounge Fly. Hey, we've got to talk about a couple of books. Um, we did. We forgot to go through. Oh, the Watchmen. This, this the Watchmen. A complete just series. Sorry. Just, just the Watchmen. I'm watching. Uh, <laughs> complete series um, in individual um, trades. Um, worth checking out. Yeah. It's fun, nice, easy page turner way to read rather than a nice weighty. Mm. I wonder if they put all that content in one hardback. It'd be pretty hard to read. Especially uh, after the big blue new dude. Yeah, and um, we've also got a beef vendetta book and mask set. So, um, it was our book. <laughs> yes, a graphic novel that the film is based on and the mask from said book. Um, a slave. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's fun. That's fun. Yes, you can take over now. Oh! We're going to talk about some Funko. Oh! Uh, guys, we just had an awesome new lineup of Funko that has just come into the warehouse. Hey, it's, hi, it's me, I'm on camera. Um, Whoa! Uh, let's kick it off. Uh, the prize we're giving away this week is, of course, the lights and sound off the prime pop vinyl figure. Just opened this before, so it's already had air in it. Um, so, fear not. Yay! That factory smell has already escaped. Um, Yum! So we're talking about... This. Now this is a regular size pop in a six inch box. So it's only $29.99 as with the other lights and sounds pop culture exclusive pops we have, but you do get a bigger box because it is just slightly too tall uh, to comfortably fit in this one. We're still having packs, so they put it in a bigger box. But yeah, it's cool. Oh, that's a good Transformer sound. sound. Mm. More than meets the eye. And oh, that's he the says sound that. Of childhood. And he says that don't you worry, Optimus. Um, and he lights up in the eyes, and he lights up in his uh, chest, and he lights up on the base. And um, this is a fun pop. And we're giving one away. If you want to win, just leave a comment on the feed, you're going to the running. 
I'm going to spin a wheel at the end of the show. Someone's going to win some prizes. Yay. Uh, now, Indiana Jones. Uh, awesome new range that has just come in. We have uh, pieces from the original three Indiana Jones films. Uh, let's take a look because we have um, action Indiana Jones from Temple of Doom. Um, he's on a bridge. He's got his knife. He's got his whip. And he's going to... Make it sharp, quip. Yep. Indiana Jones! Indiana Jones! Yay. Wow, dominoes. Um, <laughs> we also got, uh, from Raiders of the Lost Ark, we got Indiana Jones in his cool jacket. <laughs> You're also matching with Optimus Prime before. Um, why did he also have a cool... The base. Indiana Jones jacket. No, I'm pretty sure he's known for his brown jackets. Base matched your top. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Cool Indiana Jones jacket, um, and no jacket, no jacket option as well. Uh, we also got some supporting characters from the Indiana Jones film franchise from Rage of the Lost Ark. We have Marion Ravenwood with the monkey. Yes. Uh, we've got Arnold Tott um, with his burnt hand. Cool. Oh. We've got uh, Henry Jones Sr. from Last Crusade. Yes. And uh, we've got Salah from Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Yeah. Last Crusade. Raiders. Uh, Raiders. Raiders. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, we've got another indie piece to show you soon as well. But, um, yeah, this is awesome. You can get uh, all of these in an awesome bundle. Um, and you can grab um, Action Indie Solo as well. Uh, fans of New Kids on the Block. Um, just really going at it today, aren't you? Um, fans of the new kids on the block, we've got some new Pop Rocks arrivals. We have Jordan, we have Donnie, we have Danny, we have Joey, and we have Jonathan from oh, New Kids on the Block. Not so new anymore. Oh. Uh, and that block has probably been redeveloped several times, but um, these are now in stock. Get them in the bundle, get them in a the five pack. There's a big box five pack as well. A um, couple options to get some new kids in your collection. Uh, the upcoming Little Mermaid 2023 live action film. Um, we have uh, Ursula, we have King Triton, we have Prince Eric, and we have Ariel. Um, and you can get them in a sweet little bundy as well. Um, we've got some I want a little, sweet little bundy. Misc <laughs> miscellaneous. Hey, you may have remembered uh, Fall Convention last year. Well, this awesome pop culture exclusive two pack of Vecna uh, from Stranger Things and Vecna from Dungeons and the Dragons is now in stock. Uh, so your orders should be shipping soon. And uh, it is still available if you need to add uh, double dose of the big B into your collection. Um, get on it. Uh, Indiana Jones uh, and The Last Crusade. Here we have Indiana Jones and Henry Jones Sr. in a awesome Pop Deluxe uh, two pack featuring them in the motorcycle and sidecar. Um, really fun diorama piece. Um, really fun. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I watched one. <laughs> uh, from um, Princess in the Front? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We have Tiana and Naveen in a pop moment. Assume they're dancing? Is it yes. At their wedding? Yes, they are. I have not seen the film. They're dancing in their newly opened restaurant and having a um, Is he the nice frog? Time. He was the frog. Nice. She was too. What? Both That's frogs. I haven't seen it. Damn amphibians. <laughs> <laughs> um, and from Moana, we have Moana in a pop rides figure on the catamaran. Yay. It was very cool. Look at all that hollow effect. Part of Disney's uh, 100th anniversary. All the packaging has some great um, holographic foil treatments. Really fun. Really fun stuff, really nice, really good for just any collection. It's gonna really stand out, catch the light perfectly, it's gonna be lovely. Um, uh, from the live action Little Mermaid, we also have Ariel with friends. Um, nondescript in this one, really. They don't look anything like they're Isn't doing. Is it the flounder fish? It's, just it's generic flounder fish. and scuttle. Fish. No, that's actually flounder. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the <laughs> posters for the live action. Yeah, we... And that's flounder. Huh. He well, looks like an actual fish. <laughs> like, live action. Well, it, yeah, yeah, but, like, but say, still. <laughs> stylize him a little bit. Uh, from <laughs> Bruno Next Generation, part of the Hokage 
Hokage, I don't know how to say it, um, series, we have Minato Namikaze. No, yeah. I do. And uh, all of these, they're a collection series, nice little walls, diorama pieces, pop in front of the wall, pop deluxes, yeah, they're fun, you should get them. If you're a fan of Boruto, New Boruto Next Generations, I'm not. Um, uh, let's talk about some more things I can't pronounce. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, we have some awesome new Nendoroid series figures from Stone Ocean. We have Ooh. Dorato Kujo, Stone Ocean version, from Spy Family. We have Anya Forger from. You're gonna have to Attack pick on that, Titan. Pick that one up, man. I got little arms. Attack on T. We got uh, Edward Erwin Ed, Smith. Yeah. The little deluxe one comes with extra pieces, extra heads and stuff. Oh, look at all that. Fun. Looks like a mixed media cloak in there as well. Uh, from Demon Slayer, we've got Tenjin Uzu. <laughs> and <laughs> from. Something. We've got Arataka Rain. That's Spy Family yeah, as well. Yeah, sure it is. Doesn't have the same logo, so. Um, from Magic the Gathering, we've got Jace Butler. Oh my god! And Chandra yes. Nala. And from My Hero Academia, we've got Shoto Todoroki, Tamura Shigo, Raki, Dabi, and Rodi Soul. Also, I just realized that's Mob Psycho. That's not Spy yeah, Family. I said it wasn't Spy Family, did I? <laughs> You're sending my theory Jeez. off. <laughs> um, which is fun. So, yeah, these are fun little stylized, um, articulated figures. Kind of real fun chibi style. And um, really, uh, well... Don't look at my shame. <laughs> <being> <laughs> executed. <laughs> Here, um, Bianca, you take the camera now. I was going to say, hey, look at they this. They come with a bunch look of accessories. Look at this instead, then I'll take the camera. Let's look Wait. at some replicas. Yeah, we can look at some replicas while well, <laughs> Damn, we're that's a good replica. Doing. Looks like the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Burglar contractor Bilbo Baggins. So this is the contract that they pull out when the uh, is... dwarves are being a little bit too... A little bit too rowdy. Miniature scale. You open it up and it unfolds into the massive, massive, massive in and out. It goes that way, it goes that way, it goes up and down. Um, three quarter scale miniature prop replica. Yeah, to make it more collector friendly. Which is pretty cool. That's from Weta Workshop and also from Weta Hand Workshop. Stitch. Yes. And we also have Kelly's runestone that comes in this cool little oh, couch here. stone. And look, it's got the runes on it. Okay, it looks it, delicious. It's all shiny, it's one-to-one -one scale. And yeah, it is pretty, I pretty cool. I wanna eat it. I'm not sure you Don't can. Don't eat it, please. Eat it, Jess. Just stop! <laughs> And we've, got, <laughs> and we've got this love ball replica as well, which I love. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Pretty keen on the colours there. Um, it's got some weight to it. Does it open? No. But it does. does it let him out! <laughs> let him out! Pots up, does it? It does. Yeah, it does. And then yeah. you put it in the base and the base illuminates. And it's, it's, it's just a heck of a fun time. Yeah, yeah. it is really, really cool. Part of the uh, the one company's ongoing Pokeball the series. They've had the Pokeball, they've had the Great Ball, they've had the Ultra Ball, they've had, they've had the Master Ball, they've had <laughs> the Net Ball, they've had Bunch Balls, Dust Ball. Now, now you got the Love Ball. And now you got this so, phantom cup too. Who's he? It's the phantom. How do you not know the phantom? Jess, you're just awful. <laughs> Stop being so oh, young. Stop being so young come and come learn on. things. Big old Listen to your friend Billy Zane, the phantom. <laughs> Purple Listen guy. Listen to your friend Billy. <laughs> Purple guy. So this is by Icon Design Studios. Purple and, Zorro. And <laughs> it's Zorro. the phantom. It's, it's the phantom. He has Purple comics. Guy. Purple guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, keep going. It's doing great. You lose the camera. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Maybe it was the plan all along. <laughs> all right, Phantom Mug. Very, very it's cool. It's a nice, awesome piece from Icon Collectibles. It is really, really cool. And so if you ever want to drink out of a Phantom's head, yeah. there you go. Goes to the walks, right down your throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho! Oh. I, I think you made it terrible. I didn't make it anything. <laughs> Um, from Hasbro, we've got some awesome new Marvel Legends series replicas. Let's take a look at this one. 
Celebrating 60 years of X-Men, we have Storm, um, Forge, and Jubilee in a three pack. And uh, they come with accessories and stuff. And really, really practical, non-window <laughs> packaging that I just love. Every week. It is just very love. Very well done, Hasbro. You make collecting so much more fun. Uh, we've got Gambit, we've got Banshee, and we've got Psylocke in this three pack. Um, hey, look, they did make it slightly more recyclable. <laughs> they did. They did. Um, so you got to kind of take it out of the packaging to now see what they look like, which is fine. Just give it the environment. Um, Except for the lumps of plastic inside. Yeah, but um, <laughs> otherwise, hey. <laughs> On your Hasbro. Um, <laughs> got some Marvel Legends as yeah, well. Yeah, we do. We've, We've got the original Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Yondu, Star Lord, and we've got Star Lord again, but MCU Star Lord. Volume and, 3. And this is part of the Builder Figure oh, collection as well. So you can make Cosmo. You gotta get Drax and Mantis and Nebula and Rocket and Adam Warlock and Kraglin, and then you can make Cosmo. Wow. The Space Doggo. Wow. So exciting. And we've got some more figures. It's oh. Power Rangers yep. and Cobra Kai. Yeah, collaborating together to create what is everyone's must, top of everyone's wish list of must have collaborations. Um, Ooh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Uh, we have uh, morphed Daniel LaRusso White Crane Ranger. Yay. Actually, we've got a few people in the comments saying that Hasbro are uh, going back to plastic. I am windows. glad if that is the case. Yeah. Because this I think sucks. That's a good move. <laughs> good move. <laughs> um, Power Rangers Cobra Kai Lightning Collection. We have morphed Samantha LaRusso Pink Mantis Ranger. Look at that sweet render. I like that it's pink. <laughs> and yeah. um, Power Rangers Cobra Kai Lightning Collection, we have Scalaputty. It really looks yeah. as cool nice. as it does there. Nice, nice, nice. Take our word for it. Um, ben, do you want to talk about these new uh, wetter arrivals? Bigger yes. the fandom? I would PBC. love to talk about these. These are very, very cool. Um, so we've got um, a whole bunch of these in, but we've just got three up here on display today. So this is a really cool um, 20th anniversary kind of celebratory collection. So we've got Lurts, Looking All Badass. Um, we've got the Witch King, which is so amazing. I'm just loving the circular flames around the base. And then, of course, we have Gandalf the White just being awesome and triumphant and wicked as he is. As he so is. this is part of the Figures of Fandom collection, and there's more in it, which you'll have to check out on the website. Because they're not all here at the moment. Um, we've also got some more action figures. Um, we've got the Masterverse. <laughs> Uh, from Mattel, so we've got um, Skeletor, which is pretty cool. He looks very stylized. Oh. I'm not very familiar with this. Um, and from the one Netflix buff series. skeleton. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's very, very chipped very leg rough. day. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he could definitely um, crush everything. Skeletor, more like Skeletor. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Speaking of Thor, he, he, he man Thor. Yeah. This is he's also just an absolute unit. With a unit of a sword too. Such a tiny little head. Actually, that's taken a lot. No, 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 no. The head is huge. <laughs> that's taken a lot of Thor aesthetics on that thing. Actually, look at the sword. That looks like the kind of modern interpretation of. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Very Buff. runic and kind Very of. Very runic. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we've got those. More runic than the runes. Mm. Um. We've got um, this Figma piece as well um, from Bloodborne. Have you played Blood Bloodborne? I actually haven't. I think I would rage quit very, very quickly. I am hard. one of those gamers. So. <laughs> but it is pretty, pretty cool. There's like heaps of detail. We've got to see a little bit better on the back here. Oh, yeah. Without the uh, plastic reflection. See, Hasbro? Yeah. Photography. Yeah. It looks good, huh? Yeah, it does look good. But yeah, pretty cool for you if you're into Bloodborne. There's heaps of accessories and like heaps of display options. And what's really good about Figma too is that they're smaller pieces, which means you can easily fit them into any collection. Even if you have like an expansive collection, you can easily just kind of slot them in. Good. Which is really, really good. You got some Transformers. Yeah, I don't know much about Transformers, but hey, look, Transformers. We got Metal Hawk. Hey, this want to see Transformers too? Is it that Jet? Yes. Yeah. Evo Jetman. <laughs> wow. What else have we got? We also have... Oh, sweet. No window. Uh, so we have uh, 
Prime Universe Skyquake. Ooh. That's quite a name. I hope he turns into that jet. Oh, he yeah. does. Yeah, he does. He will fusion. Yeah, he does. That's a real So you can put those two name, together, I think. Oh, can you? That's me. So look at that. And then switch that over around. Turn that around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. And you can put. Oh. No needle nose. They but this is Metal back. Hawk. That's nice. Maybe they'll work. They look similar. Anyway, you can combine figures. Skyquake. That is pretty cool. And we've also got... How does that work? Scourge. Scourge. Scourge from I, I Transformers know. Rise of the Beasts. Oh, it's pretty, pretty cool. And he transforms into that. Wow. That's a beast of a truck. Absolute beast. I like it. Oh, Again, I, like it. I don't know much about Transformers, Scott, but it's pretty cool. backdrop included. Oh, that's neat. From the Attack of the Museum scene. Very, very Plus. cool if you're into that. Very, very cool. Uh, next up, we have um, some SH Ferox figures. Um, so we have Dragon Ball Z. Tart tools. 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 I don't know. Anyway, from Banda. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, yay. Or just Dragon Ball. Yeah, he's holding something that looks ballish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's it's fresh too, like it's ripped. <laughs> Straight from the dragon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, super modeling, super action, simple style and heroic action, masterfully crafted sculpt accurately depicts the character form in meticulous detail. This is cool. Yeah, speaking of cool, we have the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, oh, Raimi Spider-Man. Bianca's pretty happy about this one. Old man Toby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it comes with a um, bunch of face sculpts, um, a bunch of hands. He even has his mask that you can just kind of like have in his hand if you want to have him on mask. You can pose him like that, you can pose him like this. You can pose him all kinds of ways. It's great. I love this. You should get it. That's you should get it. I will get that. Good. And everyone else should too. Good, good, good. Uh, we've got some awesome new high-end releases from multitude of companies. So let's start with some new releases from Hot Toys. Uh, from James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, not to be mistaken with the 2016 film Suicide Squad. Um, this is a fresh reboot of it. Some of the characters are in there still, some of them aren't, um, but one of them that is a new character is King Shark. Um, this is an awesome six scale power pose figure. So power pose is slightly different from the movie masterpiece range in that it is um, highly sculpted and features less articulation, um, but they tend to do this for larger scale figures to really give um, the, I guess, uh, visual impact of the figure over um, the customized uh, ability um, with, with um, the excess articulation and additional pieces. Still comes with a few other things, comes with a little, um, whatchamacallit, um, the bad guys from the movie, uh, Aliens, and um, a little uh, book, the varieties of uh, religious experience by William James and comes with it's so print. tiny. So tiny, itty bitty. Could you actually read it though? Maybe. Maybe. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Sorry. Resolution is not enough. Mixed media piece does come with fabric shorts. Um, Sandy said I'm not allowed to show you what's underneath. Um, oh. And uh, but yeah, just really nice sculpt. Does feature some articulation in the arms, uh, in the hands. Um, it's still a really nice piece. Yeah, um, that is very cool. But in having less articulation and um, a higher sculpting kind of like ratio, it does mean that a, pri a figure this size is, is far more affordable than it would be had they gone all the way. But yeah, really, really nice figure. How does the skin feel, Andy? Rough. Yay. Is it shark? Yeah, it's, well, I've never touched a shark. So. I've heard they're rough then. Rough. Yay. Oh. You'd think um, they wouldn't be. You'd think they'd be all smooth, but apparently not. I don't know. Again, I've never touched one. Um, rub a dub dub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Falcon and Winter Soldier, we have um, um, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, even though he's not really a Winter Soldier at this point. So, I don't know. But he um, looks cool. He does. Again, nice mixed media. Uh, we've got faux leather. Um, Outfit, um, gloves, boots, um, really, really nicely um, detailed. You've got his eyes, uh, robotic arm, um, bunch of weapon accessories, and a really nice likeness to Sebastian Stan. 
Um, and um, even features a little Sebastian action figure stand. Oh. Uh, <laughs> stand Sebastian stand <laughs> on. Uh, oh. You see where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Um, but yeah, uh, really nice piece from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. From Avengers Endgame, we have Loki um, in the 2012 era, um, right before Loki gets the Tesseract. So this is essentially Loki from the Avengers movie, yeah, as he appears in that 2012 timeline in Avengers Endgame. Um, but it comes with his stuff, um, and uh, yeah. Um, it is really cool. It's really I just, cool. I love seeing Loki just in his full garb. Get up, like, yeah. Just like, like the horned helmet and everything um, is just so sick. Again, mixed He's media. Set. You've got really nice, um, nicely tailored cloak um, and little elements of his costuming as well. Um, but that's nice. The helmet's insane. Um, hey, speaking of uh, Endgame, chapter Infinity War here, so pre-development, there was going to be a scene in the film in which um, Tony Stark is saved by the cloak of, whatchamacallit, Bianca? Invisibility? No, 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 no. It's Stranger's cloak. Oh, I forget. Yeah, but anyway. I was thinking of Harry Potter. There was going to be a little switcheroo <laughs> and Iron Man was going to have the cloak and Doctor Strange was going to be in an Iron Man suit. Um, and have all of these fun gadgets and, and powers. They didn't end up putting it in the movie, but what they have done is taken relatively finished um, 3D work and concept art, and Hot Toys have brought this figure to life um, in um, kind of a what could have been kind of sense. Um, it's cool they've done that. So we've got Iron Strange, um, and you've got the Ag Agamotto there in, in place of the, um, the arc reactor, um, and it comes with just a massive, Pound of accessories, um, which is really cool. Um, really fun display piece. Um, oh, wow. But yeah, um, little little creativity being thrown into uh, the MCU there uh, in terms of these Hot Toys releases, which is nice. Um, we've got Iron Man from Iron Man 2. Uh, this is the one where he puts his hands in the suitcase and it goes up his arms and he kind of forms around him, so it's got it's a, like a it's got a in um, in action shot here, um, and he's got his racing suit underneath that, so you can kind of put it together in a, a few different ways. It does come with a suitcase as well, I believe. Uh, die cast elements on this, die cast elements on the on the strain iron strange figure as well, which is cool. Yeah. Last piece, last piece from Hot Toys we've got to show you today is um, Grogu in one six scale oh. uh, from the Mandalorian. Um, Some Grogu. We've got um, Grogs in his um, pram. Look at that cute little expression. Oh, it makes me so happy. I can just hear the baby noises. <laughs> um, comes with his, um, he's magnetized, that's how he sits in there. Um, but comes with a little blanket and um, nice transparent stand. A couple different Grogus as well. Um, does have some articulation as well. Oh, yeah. Aww. Um, again, magnetized, so I think this is a different, yeah, sculpt, so you can switch them out. Um, if you don't want happy, you can put your other Grogu in here. Aww. And um, you can also put fully wrapped up in blanket Grogu Aww. in here as well. Um, lots of display options. Um, That's really cool. I see we've got a little froggy there in case he gets hungry. You do, you got the frog and nice. you got this little fox creature as well from um, season two, I think it was. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, I dig it. But yeah, fun, fun piece. And the fact they've given you a few different skulls to put together kind of fleshes out the fact that it is quite a small one six scale figure because it's a baby. But um, they've given you more more babies as well. Three for the price of one, I guess. Yeah. Um, Wow. Um, from Iron Studios, we've got some uh, awesome new releases as well. Um, from the same scene in which Loki uh, is in um, Avengers Endgame, we also have the 2012 diorama range of the Avengers um, from Avengers Endgame as they appeared in the original Avengers movie when they go back in time to 2012 in New York, um, the Battle of New York against Loki. And uh, 
This is um, Hawkeye, Hulk, and Black Widow as they appear in 2012 um, in the middle of the streets of New York when the camera famously kind of just pans around them. There are all the other, you got Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America that are part of this range as well. And they're all in these really nice diorama pieces that are individually sculpted in a 360 view. So you can put them in any kind of display option you want and still have it look the part um, for that road to still come together really nicely. That's neat. I love that. Um, from Falcon and Winter Soldier, we have US Agent um, and we have Bucky Barnes, um, which is cool. Yeah. And from Loki, the series, we have President Loki. Yes. Um, look Hand still intact. Uh, really fun diorama base on that one. I'm really digging the detail I put into there. Put a little Loki hideout. It is good. Um, from Mighty Jacks, we have a new release figure from the artist called Matt Bailey. Uh, this is the Spectre edition of his Keep Me In Your Heart. Um, is this the weird skeleton Yes, yeah, the weird skeleton one. Um, so this is a really, really nice edition um, from Mighty Jacks. It is a really well put together um, resin piece in which they've done various um, different pieces that intertwine. You've got this clear resin skeleton and I'll just pull this out to try and give you an idea. All of that in there is actually clear resin. Um, so while it does look solid because it's quite a dark uh, resin that they've used, it is, it is um, transparent. So it is somewhat spiritual or um, ghosty, ethereal. Yeah, ethereal mm, in yeah. its in its approach. So brings in an outerworldly element to this piece, and you've got this really um, opaque, matte, dark um, female figure in there as well. Tell you what, um, that looks sick with some blue light, like lighting on it. It right, would go into yeah. it. Absolutely. Oh, you found the torch. Found the torch. Um, but uh, it's yeah, it's a really nice, really really nice piece. Uh, skeleton. So keep me with any heart. She is intertwined within the skeleton's rib cage and he's lighting a cigarette for her, which I guess you'll, I know you'll like. Um, <laughs> Cause your lungs are bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I like how the flame is like the only other colored detail mm. in it though. That's really cool. There's some spot varnish detailing on the matte figure. I'm not going to say exactly where. Um, Tartars. Yep. Um, Why would they do that? And <laughs> It's, um, yeah, a really nice it. piece. I'm a really big fan of this. Yeah, it is um, really, really cool. From Sartre Collectibles, we have uh, a new range of um, PVC statues, mixed media really, because they're all got um, uh, fabric outfits and gowns and robes and BTS. Yay. And all the guys from BTS, their names, Unknown to me. Um, <laughs> Isn't one of them called their style? Jim? Nice. Jimmy? I appreciate it. I like. I like what they're doing. I like their uh, the gown coordination. I don't know what specific era of BTS this is from, um, but they're all they're all really dynamic. Um, they're all they all look like they're ready to just break down into some. Boston yeah, yeah break yeah. this and <laughs> the bullet. Are you trying to me? All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Um, anyway, that's that's a really nice piece. Speaking of nice pieces, um, from uh, I'm sorry, I just need to check. Taka Corp. Taka. Taka Corp Studio. Taka Corp Studio. Right. You know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you do this one, Yanka. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is a really really cool piece. So this is toothless right after he gets his new fin fixed up by Hiccup, which is really, really cool. Um, really cool sculpt here. Um, looks like it's just straight out of the movie. It's got like a shiny element to it, which is pretty neat. Um, all on a nice little landscape base there. And he's looking all cute and shy. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. And we've got a good wingspan going there. His tail kind of curling around. It's just a really nice little piece. I watched this. I um... like it. Recently, um, again, after a long time away, and I completely forgot how much his mannerisms are like a cat. He's really yeah. cat-like, and I forgot about that. So I this did pose really is enjoy cool. that too. I've never seen How to Train Your Dragon. It's good. Or How to Train Your Dragon 2, or How to Train Your Dragon 3. 
Oh, the TV series? Who would have just seen, you mean seen dragons? any of the... Haven't seen it. Much. <laughs> <laughs> dragons. Dreamworks Dragons? No. <laughs> They're good. It is really, really good. I feel like it might be record time. Oh, I think it is. Oh, I'm up. I'm up. I'm walking. I'm going to the records. I've been nicely hidden away. And I'm scared these are about to fall everywhere. Please oh, bear yeah. with me. Turn oh, yeah. the camera onto Andy or something. No. Andy, do a dancey dance. <laughs> Not so close to the records. <laughs> I regret saying that. Hello, lads. <laughs> Um, so last week, last Saturday was Record Store Day 2023, which was a lot of fun. It was a great time at the Record Store. I was there all day. We had a lot of people lining up, getting all the good vinyls. We had some awesome uh, acts play, so it was a great time. So now I'm going to show you what we kind of still have left, and we have plenty left to show you, so you get excited. Uh, starting off, we've got this 10-inch uh, Casbian versus the Prodigy. Casabian. Casabian, Casbian. I'm really here for the prodigy. Um, Rocket Fuel, which is a great uh, song I've actually listened to today because it's just a 10 inch single. Um, and it's really nice. It's classic EDM with the wub wubs and the prodigy fun time. Wub wub. And so it's good if you want to have some 10 inches into your collection because they're mm -hmm. also cool. Not quite looking for 12. Next up, we have Carol King, the legendary demos. Um, Carol King is pro a prolific female uh, singer-songwriter, mainly songwriter, um, with just her use of metaphors and poetry within her lyrics. So definitely if you're a fan of Carol King or you're wanting to get into her work, this is a great way to, you know, really dig deep with them demos. Yeah, let me have a look at this. A slay. I like the work of Carol King. Uh, and next up we have Rockin' and Rollin' by T-Rex. <laughs> so this is actually <laughs> oh, a... Yes, there's some good songs on here. Mm, Japan <laughs> only, was originally a Japan only compilation album that for Record Store Day this year. They have released it uh, worldwide, which is really cool. So it's got song that's all in Japanese. Uh, <laughs> songs like The Groover, 20th Century Boy, Soul Gold, Easy Action, and Children of the Revolution. I just really love that front cover. Easy. Yeah. Looking fluffy. Anyway, this has got good songs too. Back to Carol King. Like, you make me feel like a natural woman. Oh, that is a good one. Uh, it's got Tapestry. Uh, um, oh. You oh. make me feel. Oh. Until tomorrow. Oh. Next oh. up, <laughs> uh, we have Ocean Alley with Kurosku. I can't ever say Kurosku, which is like a form of um, painting. But anyway, uh, this is their fifth year anniversary of this album. Kurosku. Kurosku. It's it's Italian. You get the G. Dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, really great album celebrating five years since its release. These guys are amazing, very much. Uh, almost reggae, solely a good time. I saw them live in Lucendale and it was a great act to see. And this is pressed on orange vinyl to celebrate orange. five years. Orange. Very orange. Cool. Next up, we have Jamiroquai. Um, Live at BBC, Maddie, God, Maida Vale, 1999. I can't read. <laughs> um, so this is a 12-inch single, so it has songs live from the live performance, such as Travelling Without Moving, Can't Heat, King for a Day, and Soul Education slash Cosmic Girl. So if you're, you know, Jamiroquai fan, little Jamiroquai collector, you want some Jamiroquai, why? Because we love Jamiroquai. Live at the B B C. Slay. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Show by The Cure. So uh, one thing that's really cool about Record Store Days for the last couple of years, uh, they have been putting uh, Cure albums onto picture discs to celebrate The Cure. So last year was Pornography. Um, I can't remember the year before that, but, you know, they just do it with most of their discography. But this is awesome because it's a live show. Um, so it has some pretty good tracks, such, such as, as uh, Pictures of You, Lullaby, Just Like Heaven, Fascination Street, which is one of my favorites, and Friday I'm in Love, and they were enough. It's good. The Cure Show. And it's really cool, and it's cool to have some picture discs in your collection. They're just fun to see spin on the platter and things, so a fun time to be had. Uh, next up, also, it's still record store days. We have the amazing world of Doctor Who. Oh, wow. um, the 1970 annuals, read by Jeffrey Beavers. Louise Jamison and Dan Starkey oh. pressed on red and orange vinyl. So I believe this Thrilling is... Thrilling adventures in time and space. I'm believing it's short stories? 
Stories and, feed and features from the amazing world of Doctor Who and the Doctor Who Annual 1976. Brought to life with sound design and the great original Doctor Who theme music. Ooh. That original theme used to freak me and my sister out when we were through little. the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like Doctor Who. And finishing off with an Australian event, this is Cub Sport. I don't know which way, yeah, the vinyl oh. goes this way. We just called uh, this album's called Jesus Out of Gay Bar. Yeah, they get in amongst it. <laughs> Oh. Um, great Australian band um, They've been around for a couple of years now I um, mean, this is their latest release And it's really cool just to see the band Kind of evolve into more deeper And more I don't know, mature themes Rather than just like, we write happy pop music It's now like, we write happy pop music But we also question everything around us Whoa! It's a good time But no, we still have plenty of record store Day exclusives going up on the website So do be sure to check it out. And there's so many more that I wasn't able to speak about today because otherwise I'd be carrying them all in my yeah, arms. Yeah, 200 get plus titles. Yeah, it's um, crazy. That did come in. Some of them are sold out now. Um, R.I.P. T. Swift. Yeah. Um, but uh, still dozens, dozens, dozens. Buy them. For you to come and check out. For Culture Records, we're open all weekend, open to seven tonight. Um, and of course, we are, of course, at um, Rites of Passage Tattoo Festival in Melbourne. This weekend, um, from today till 10, tomorrow 10 till 10, and Sunday 10 to 5, uh, come down and pick up some awesome new releases for your collection. Uh, we've got art prints, we've got statues, we've got... Um, records? Records. We've got so much to check out. Um, so while you're waiting for your friend to get their tattoo, um, head on down to, um, yeah. to Pop Culture. Check and it out. Who, who's someone else they might be able to get a tattoo from? Yeah, my wife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. Check her out. Claire Walker Tattoos. W3 is her booth. Yeah. Slay! Go play! I can't remember our booth number, that's probably pretty bad as well. Um, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, yeah, we're checking out. Um, that's pretty much all we have to show you today, I think. Mm, yeah. After all of it, so it's yeah. prize time. Woo! Prizes. Let's do it, let's do it. This week, prizes are, of course, the lights and sounds, <laughs> Optimus Prime, and this awesome Jurassic Park backpack. Woo! And We'll figure something else out for you as well. Hey, I, I, fi I fixed up the, um, the yeah. knob too. No more knob problems. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's give it a spin for Full the knob. backpack. A little spinny spin. Woo. Spin. I'm spinning around. We're running my way. I know you're feeling me because you're looking like this. Uh, Michael Cox, um, congratulations, you have won this backpack. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, and email address. Uh, we'll get this sent out ASAP. Um, next prize we're going to spin for is the um, Optimus. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the sound. Autobots, roll out. Oh, I like it. Let's roll out, it. Let's spin. <laughs> And the winner of Optimus is Tab Day. Congratulations. Uh, please send us a private message on Facebook. Name, post information, email address. We'll get us sent out to you ASAP. Uh, let's spin again. Let's do one more spin. What are we going to give away? I think we can give away uh, a Vecna and Vecna 2 pack. Ooh. Let me get it again. Yeah. Damn, boy. Ooh. Them Vecnas. Yeah. So Vecna -ish. Vecna on Vecna action. Let's do it. Uh, Paul Stevens, congratulations, you've won Vecna and Vecna for your collection. Um, again, private message, please, on Facebook, name, postal information, email address. We'll take care of it for you. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Again, Rites of Passage Festival this weekend in Melbourne. Pop culture will be there. Come check us out. Uh, otherwise, have a great weekend, and uh, we'll catch you on the flippity flip for another exciting week in review next week. Uh, I'm Andy. This is Luke. We've got Jess and Bianca behind the camera. Uh, we'll catch you <laughs> next week for another exciting show. Until then. Stay safe and happy collecting, folks.